Okay, today is September 24th, 2015. This is a litter of eight beautiful puppies, three girls, five boys, sheep doodles out of our beautiful AKC registered black and white standard poodle. This is her retirement litter. This is Jessie, as well as, uh, uh, no, this is Gino. Gino is our, um, we have two active Old English Sheepdogs AKC registered studs that are tested uh, for breeding and uh, Gino is the sire of this litter and as you can see he produces some really pretty color combinations. Um, but this is re Jessie's retirement litter. She uh, will be retiring after this. We've not yet assigned her to her home but yet we've not um, announced her retirement officially either and she will be spayed before she leaves. Okay, uh, I don't mem I haven't memorized these names. They were inspired by my uh, recent um, hobby, and it is a hobby, not part of my business, uh, despite <laughs> some advice um, to my success of breeding ability. Some people suggested I do, but no, I'm not interested in breeding birds. <laughs> um, but I do have a love for my parrots, and I've got my two African greys, my Timna and my Congo. Uh, both just a few months old and only have been with me for a short time. My Congo was kind of unplanned, but I have no regrets. And uh, my third and third three is a charm. That's it. Um, of course, they say somebody said on one of the posts, famous last words. <laughs> Same thing goes for dogs and other things. Um, but uh, anyway, I have a beautiful, severe mini macaw coming um, probably late October, early November before the holidays, so we're really excited. And I do share them on my Facebook page, my personal Facebook page, as well as some of the parrot groups. Um, you won't see them necessarily in my dog groups, but uh, anyway, they are just my, my hobby, my kind of escape. Uh, both kids are leaving or have left. Uh, my son, of course, has been married for a couple of years. He fortunately only lives with his wife two and a half hours from here, so I get to see both of them quite often. But my daughter will be leaving us for Minnesota, hopefully temporary, with her fiancé, uh, Cody. And uh, so I know we have a wedding to plan ahead of us, too, at some point. Do not know when yet, but we do hope that they will come back home. Uh, at some point, but it is a, a very, very positive career move for Cody, uh, a chance that could not be passed up. So um, we just hope that we'll be able to see them, but it's going to be very difficult to be so far away from them. So anyway, let's get on to the puppies because I know that uh, that's what everybody's waiting for, not to hear my personal business. All right, let's see. Uh, we've got our brown boy. And our brown boy is the one we call McCall, and that's him right here, and I love, he's got one of those, I know it's offensive to do this to a boy, but he really does. He has one of our Cleopatra eyes. I just love those markings, okay? And I, we have a split litter. We have four tuxedos, by that I mean predominantly black on the main part of their body. And then we have four parties, or what some people also like to call uh, Holstein markings, dairy cow markings. Okay, you guys are making a mess with your food. There is our little girl. She's also a tuxedo, but with a little splash of white on her rump, as you see. Now, she could be called, I guess, our little runt, but she's a little spitfire. She's usually the first one to the food bowl. Reminds us of our little Titus, although she hasn't really struggled at all. She nurses well, but her weight gain is a little bit slow. I do expect as she gets more onto the regular food, um, that it will pick up. She is thriving, however, so we've been keeping an eye on her, but she otherwise is perfectly healthy. She's barked at me a couple of times, um, and you can see she's walking around just perfectly fine, snuggling up with her siblings. That is our purple collar girl, and she is the one we call Laura Keat. Okay, again, these are all names of various parrots, uh, exotic birds, and um, okay, that is our black collared boy. And he is the one we call Timna. And of course, one of my parrots is a Timna African Gray, the smaller of the two species. Okay. Um, this girl here is our yellow collared girl. She's another tuxedo. And I love her face. I call my mime face. <laughs> Look at that. Yes, I do eat hard. And she, of course, is the one that we call Canary appropriately named for your yellow collar, huh? Yeah. 
Now remember, these guys are just over three weeks old. So unlike, um, well, of course I wouldn't say Ruthie's puppies are very active, but uh, they're just lazy. They're fat and lazy. Uh, she has a small litter and tons of milk. If I wasn't afraid of the consequences, I would have shared some of these puppies with her um, just to ease her a little bit with milk, although I've been keeping an eye on her. She's not engorged or anything. Her puppies are just eating extremely well and are extremely big. But uh, all, all of them, big or small, do generally even out as they start to mature in their growth. All right, let's see. I don't want to miss anybody, right? Okay, our green boy, did we already talk about him? I believe we did. No, we didn't. This is Bungie. Now, he's one of our um, party marked. Oops. Come here, buddy. <laughs> You're, he's one of also our bigger puppies in this litter. Okay, so he's well fed. That is Bungie. Okay. And let's see. Ah, yes. Oh, no. Brown McCall, we already talked to you, buddy. Yeah, and we already talked to you. You're just barking for me, aren't you? That's my little lorikeet. It was kind of not intentional at the time that she got assigned her name, but lorikeet is one of the smaller parrots. Um, not Somebody tried to talk me into getting one. They are phenomenally beautiful. I mean, they're like rainbow colors, just very brilliant, but they eat this mush. And uh, so their dietary needs are much, much different than the typical exotic bird and wasn't something I really wanted to fuss with. So, and they are very loud, despite their little size. All right, uh, let's see, what do we got here? We got our gray boy, and this is Congo. Of course, the other of my, Amer my African grays, the bigger of the two. Okay, but he's not the bigger of our puppies. Not the smallest, but he's definitely not one of it. And again, another tuxedo with a couple of splashes of white on his rump or on his back. Okay. And here's another one of our parties. And this is a girl. This is our red collared girl. Whoops, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Hard to do this one handed. You go, you're pretty big. <laughs> That's our parallet. Okay. They just kind of ate the food that I just put in front of them so once they eat they kind of get this uh, food coma, milk coma, you name it. All right, here's our blue boy. Again, another one of our parties and he is the one that we call Senegal. <laughs> Got a little bit more black on him, but quite a variety of color. Why do I feel like I miss somebody? Okay, there's our gray boy and that is Congo. A red girl back there going back to sleep. She says, leave me alone, it's nap time. That's Paralette and our little blue boy. <coughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Here, baby. Yes. Yeah, this is a very discovering phase. And if I move too quickly around them, they not quite sure who I am, huh? This is, by next week, you'll probably be jumping all over me. Yeah, oh, who's that? Sassy. Okay, so that's our blue boy, and he's the one we call Senegal. Mr. Sassy over there is our black collar boy. It's really, really too early to tell their temperaments. I think he's looking to go potty. All right, there is our green collared boy. Black, of course, was uh, Timna. Oh, what a big yawn. That's our green collared boy, and that is the one, of course, we call Bungie. Or Budgie, I'm sorry. I think I'm mispronouncing that. I do apologize. Budgie. Okay, and this is Canary. Mm -hmm. You're easy to remember because of your yellow collar, and you are such a big girl. My little mime girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, goodness, can she not leave us alone? There's my little squirt. There's my little lorikeet. <laughs> yeah, there's my little squirt. Come on, camera. Oh. There we go. Okay. Somebody's somebody's sniffing from behind here. Okay, and there again is our brown collared boy, the one we call McCall. Alright. Here is Timna. Back here sniffing. Being friendly. Yes, you're just sniffing figure out what I am. I'm definitely not mama, huh? Hmm? 
There's my canary. She's licking my fingers. Mm -hmm. Woo! You guys aren't helping here. All right, that's Budgie. That's Budgie, Buggy, Budgie. Yeah. I don't know. As far as I know, it's a parrot. I mean, a parakeet. <laughs> I probably should have just called you parakeet. No, that would be a girl. Yeah, that would be a girl. Okay. So, mom's sounding like she wants in now. Oh, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing, baby girl? Huh? What are you doing? There's canary. So, I'm going to give you a nice wide shot of the entire litter. There's two of them eating. Um, that would be Budgie. And let's see the car. I think that's the gray collar boy, which would be Congo, right next to him. There's the rest of the litter crashing out, with the exception of Canary. And there's Mom. You ready to come in, baby girl? Huh? All right, we'll let you in. Puppies are fine. All right, thank you very much. Again, this is Law Padoodle. I may not have even said it in the beginning. Uh, Law Padoodle Canine Manor. It's L-A-W-P-D-O-O-D-L-E-K, the number nine, manor, M-A-N-O-R.com for our website. And uh, please uh, email us if you have any questions or would like to know about our other upcoming litters later this year at lpdk10608 at gmail.com. And we thank you for viewing our puppies. Yes, our puppies, and may God bless you.